to another video. Today I am going to be bringing you my May haul. Ta-da! I don't know why I'm so excited about that. I feel like for the month of May, again, I actually did really well. I don't feel like I've acquired too many books. I got a couple of books given to me as gifts. So many people gift me books, it's kind of insane. And then I bought myself a couple, but I'm just gonna get straight into it. So the first book that I bought in the month of May is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I have seen this book absolutely everywhere and I spotted it in Asda and it was in a deal for two books for seven pound and this is supposed to be 7 99 on its own, so like, eh, I can't pass up a good deal in Asda. They quite often have two books for seven pound deals on and it's just finding decent books within that offer because that offer's like always running and they just change the books that are in it. So I quite often like to head down the um, book aisle in Asda if you needed to know that. But yeah, this was part of that deal and I've seen this book absolutely everywhere on the internet. Um, I know that it's very relevant and present day sort of issues and stuff. I am a fantasy sort of person, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to enjoy it or not, but I've heard from a lot of people that this is a very different sort of book. We will see. I don't know when I'm actually ever going to read it because I've got so much fantasy that my heart just gravitates towards. I'll get to it at some point. Um, and as this was in a two for seven pound deal, I did get another book in that deal. And that other one is one I've not actually ever heard anything about, but I pretty much got it for free if that's supposed to be £7.99 and £7. So um, this is As Old As Time, A Twisted Tale. Uh, it's one of those like Disney retelling book things, so I have no idea who it's by. Oh wait, Liz Braswell, that's who it's by. One, oh, it's floppy. <laughs> Who doesn't love a floppy book? Um, and two, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. What if Belle's mother cursed the beast? There you go. I am excited by this. I think the reason I gravitated towards this as opposed to anything else in the deal is because it was, you know, Beauty and the Beast came out in cinemas and I was totally on the Beauty and the Beast retelling hype and I was on my um, Akawar hype, which obviously Akatar is Beauty and the Beast retelling. So I was kind of in that like Beauty and the Beast sort of mood. And the cover was pretty. It's got like shiny bits and it's floppy. <laughs> Can the enchanted rose reveal hidden truths? Could it be that Belle's mother was the one who cursed the beast all those years ago? When Belle touches the enchanted rose hidden away in the beast's castle, memories flood her mind. Memories of a mother she thought she would never see again. And stranger still, it seems her mother was actually the beautiful enchantress who cursed the beast and castle and all its inhabitants. Shocked and confused, Belle and the beast will have to unravel the dark mystery about their families that is 21 years in the making. There you go, that's what that's about. The next book that I got in May carries on with the Beauty and the Beast storytelling theme that I was clearly into at this point, and that is Hunted by Megan Spooner. I have wanted this from the moment it came out, and I don't know when it came out. Like April or something? It wasn't that long ago. And there was a promotional card for it in one of the fairy loot boxes, I think. Uh, but I wanted it before that promotional card came about um, and I saw people talking about how pretty the cover is like it's all shiny and beautiful and I know that it's a beauty and the beast retelling where like the beauty is deadlier than the beast yeah and she's like a huntress or something everything about this book called to me and I'm so glad that I got it and my boyfriend actually bought this for me so thank you very much Jake and I'm just excited by it in general it is a hardcover because it's only available in hardcover at the minute but I don't mind it too much because it's so pretty and it's actually really lightweight for a hardcover. Like, I'm not mad. I'm not gonna read the synopsis because I kinda do wanna go in blind for it. I'm excited and also underneath, it's green and white. And I think that's one of the most beautiful naked books I own. I think I've possibly mentioned before, I love it when books have this like quarter binding across them and then the rest of it. Um, I just think it's so pretty. Um, any book that looks like that naked if it's a hardcover I'm kind of drawn to it a little bit more because I just love this binding I don't know why I don't know what it is about it that I love um, and then on the edge it's just white with the green hunted the fourth book that I got this month was another gift and this one was from my nan this was a congratulations on your new job let me buy you something from Waterstones sort of thing and I had seen this not everywhere, but I'd seen Emma from Miss Emma Reads a lot rave about how great this was. I think she's read it like four times or something. And that 
really spoke to me because I trust her opinions on books quite a lot. So I picked, well I say I picked up this, my nan picked this up for me um, and I haven't read it yet uh, but I, I don't imagine it's going to take me too long to get through. I kind of want to sit and read it in one sitting first and then maybe read it again slower as individual poems. Shut up! Because if you didn't know it is a book of um, poetry and I haven't even said what the book is, it's The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace, if you couldn't tell from the title. I am excited to read this just from how much Emma's gone on about it. The next book that I got I have already spoken about and that is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas because obviously that was released on the 2nd of May and I got myself a copy or two. Um, if you haven't seen my Akawar book babble then you're probably wondering why I have four. Let me tell you the story. First up I ordered this one off Amazon, pre-ordered it because um, I wanted to collect them all in hardcover so pre-ordered this on Amazon and I got an email saying oh yeah your pre-order will be with you on the 25th of May so I was like no I'm not waiting until the 25th of May to read this book. This is my most anticipated read of the year. I'm not waiting pretty much a whole month to read it. Nah. -uh. So I left this going, I didn't like cancel or anything because I still wanted the hardcover. Um, and then I ordered a paperback to um, be here on release day and that all went swimmingly. But I didn't get any like emails about when it would be with me or if I would get it on release day or whatnot. And I was freaking out about this. So I was freaking out to my friend Summer and she was like, you know what, I've got Prime and stuff. I'm just gonna order you another paperback copy so that you will get it on release day, definitely, for sure. And <laughs> the only reason she did this is because she didn't want to deal with my panic of not having it. So she then ordered me this copy of A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, so this is the paperback copy that I have read. So I've got my hardcover and the paperback that Summer ordered me. Then the paperback that I ordered arrived and if you didn't see it on my Instagram, um, it arrived totally mashed on the inside. I have since then flattened it all out, um, or tried to. You can see where it's still all a bit crooked and stuff. Uh, this has never been read, but it came with the whole first section of pages absolutely crushed in on each other, like totally crumpled in. It was horrific and I was absolutely gutted even though I already had that copy but I was still gutted and was like mad about it so I complained and they were like keep that copy we'll send you another one so I got this copy so there's the story of four but I definitely don't need four copies of this so I'm gonna keep my hardcover and my paperback that I've read the trashed copy I don't know what I'm gonna do with I might trash it further I might donate it or something if anyone wants it I don't I don't know <laughs> but the other paperback copy that's unread and all perfect I'm currently doing a giveaway for over on my Instagram poses on the 29th of May. I think this should be up before the 29th of May. But yeah, if you want to potentially win this copy of Akawar, I've got a giveaway for it on my Instagram. So that's the story of four Akawars and four other books. And that is everything that I got my hands on in May. So really only if we ignore the fact that I've got four copies of the same book. Only five books. Which is really quite good for me. So, um, oh, there's a magpie. Just, just one magpie. Oh no. Oh no, there's two. Oh, it's okay, there's two. I'm a bit superstitious about magpies. Like if I see one, you know, the whole one for sorrow, two for joy thing. I don't like seeing one magpie on their own, but there's two of them and it's being chased by a blackbird. Are they ganging up on it? This is really interesting. They're like having a fight with the blackbird. I would show you, but it's in my neighbor's garden and I don't want to film my neighbor's garden. That's a bit weird. I'm going to stop watching the birds. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, maybe next month I'll buy more. I don't know but we'll see. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, chat to me down in the comments, tell me what you have bought this month, um, tell me what I should buy next month. I always like asking for recommendations in my hauls because I buy on recommendation. Sometimes impulse, but mostly recommendation, like the princess saves herself in this one. I purely got because someone else was talking about how much they loved it. So if you've got any recommendations for me, leave them down in the comments. Thumbs up, chat to me down there. Um, if you fancy subscribing and you aren't already, I'm always eternally grateful for that. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and some odd days in between if I'm feeling generous or if I have enough time to film extra videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!